New at 6, a heartbreaking update to a story we first told you about three years ago. Eric McLean passed away last night of cancer, and people who knew him best called him the bucket list guy. Well, today, very close friends are talking about his legacy. Shelley Walcott reports. Just 10 days after Eric McLean posted a goodbye video telling his followers he had done everything he could in his fight against cancer, the 28-year-old from Two Rivers, Wisconsin, has died. I'm trying to stay positive through all this. Three years ago, Eric McLean began documenting his 10-year battle with leukemia. With just months to live, he created a bucket list and went skydiving. He gave this heartbreaking advice earlier this year. Something you've always thought about doing, do it. Someday you're not going to be able to. It was that fighting spirit his mother Mary says Eric would want to be remembered for. He was told he was terminal, and that's when he just put it in full gear and decided, okay, I'm going to do a lot of the things that I've always wanted to do. And he did. And then some. I think Eric's life is a, you know, inspiration to all of us. Freighter oncologist Dr. Paramesran Hari says Eric was like family. He's battled this disease for about a third of his life and he's been my patient for two-thirds of my professional career. Eric's final blog has gone viral with more than a million hits. It's a heart-wrenching goodbye message from a man who never gave up his cancer fight. I'm so scared. I don't, I don't, God, is it scary. On his deathbed, I read to him letters from people all across the world and little notes and things from family and friends. A grieving mother grateful for her son's legacy. And we're so proud of him. We are just so proud of him. Eric leaves behind an unfinished bucket list. He wanted to visit Australia, get a tattoo, hold his own child in his arms. He died Thursday night with his wife by his side. On your side in the newsroom, I'm Shelley Walcott. Today's TMJ4.